Coach Devin here. Let's talk about bodybuilding, fitness bikini modeling, all those things. Getting on stage in not a lot of clothes after you diet like crazy, being judged, and what that actually does to people. So, I have some background in this not a long time ago. I was going to say not a long time ago, but quite a long time ago, I did some bodybuilding shows. Uh, I did three of them over the course of three years. Uh, I never rated any higher than fourth. My last year, I was fourth as a middleweight. Uh, I'd been a heavyweight a couple of years times before. I was a little small for heavyweight. I dropped down to 189 pounds. Uh, that's what I got down to. And I was a middleweight my last year. I was fourth out of, uh, I think, 15 in my category. And I did that naturally. And I was pretty uh, pretty impressed with myself. I think I was, um, goodness, I think I was 30, 32 years old at the time, 31 years old. And you know what? I was pretty happy with that. And I always said that was it for me. I was done. Uh, I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed the challenge. I liked everything that went into the, the bodybuilding side of things and, and the hard work and dedication and being on your eating plan and all those things. But I said, I'm going to stop. And the next time I would ever do one is when I was 40. And I've been 40 for six years now, six and a half years, haven't done one. <laughs> Which shows you that I, uh, I, I've decided I'm, I'm not going to do another one. I, I don't, just because I'm in masters doesn't mean I want to do it. Uh, but I have a lot of thoughts uh, because my experiences, I think, were fairly typical in as a man. Uh, but I've done a lot of work with female bikini figure uh, clients. And I have to tell you, there's some things that they go through that are different than the guys go through. It's, it's a very different process uh, for men than women. And uh, I think that's something that needs to be talked about because quite often it isn't. So when we see, and let's talk about bodybuilding in general, that's sort of the overlying thing. So that's men and women. Uh, in, in bodybuilding in general, what we're looking at is, you know, people who want to challenge themselves. They want to be challenged and see what they can do. And years ago, and really not all that long ago, back when I was doing it in the early to mid, you know, 2003, 2004, 2005, 6 era, back in those days, people didn't come to see the, the girls. That's just the way it was. I mean, the there wasn't a lot of women that got on stage as bodybuilders. It just did, it didn't happen as much professionally. Yes, but on an amateur level, there just were fewer of them uh, because fewer women wanted to do it. And people came for the guys. They wanted to see you know the mass monsters getting up there and flexing. That's that's what it was about. And then along the way, uh, as we got into it more, we got. Um, women started to become a little bit more into it because of the fact you started getting other things like fitness figure and stuff like that where they're doing backflips and stuff while they're also super lean. So that, that did happen. And then once bikini hit and bikini and figure, so there's, there's bodybuilding for women, uh, there's figure for women, which is a scaled down version of bodybuilding, but they are quite, quite lean. And then we had bikini for women, which the idea was that they were just attractive women that, you know, basically were pretty fit, um, but not ripped to death and they would get on stage and compete. Now it has changed. Uh, and I'll, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but what we're, what we're looking at now, as soon as that hit, suddenly you saw an enormous proliferation of women wanting to do it because up to that point, it was a very niche market for female bodybuilders. It just was. And not a lot of women wanted to be female bodybuilders because inherently guys, and I'm not trying to be sexist here, but guys want to get big, right? They're like, oh, I want to be huge, right? I mean, that, that's what guys do. That's a testosterone thing. We like to do it. We think, we think we're manly and tough. Women don't necessarily want to be manly and tough, or there, it, there are some for sure, but there's a, it's a smaller percentage, so it's a very niche market for that. Once bikini and figure came along, we suddenly saw women were saying, hey, wait a minute, there's a spot in this for me. So it was smart on the bodybuilding overall side of things to create these shows as a marketing uh, ploy to get more women interested in the sport of bodybuilding. It was probably good in general. Uh, because more people were interested in exercising and lifting weights then. But what happened was that it changed quite quite drastically. I remember my first year seeing a show. Uh, I wasn't competing. I believe it was 06. Uh, the first time I saw a fitness show uh, where we had women in it as bikini models. The bikini category, the, the women were not ripped. They just looked good in bikinis. That's basically what it was. I, and very, very quickly that changed. Uh, so the first year, the woman that won, and I, I don't recall who it was here, but I remember her not 
being super lean. She looked fit. She looked attractive. She wasn't, you know, popping abs and guns and, you know, you could see every, every muscle tie and those things didn't happen. But very quickly that changed. And very quickly we ended up with women being super lean in the figure department for, for that's that category figure where they're a little bit bigger, a little bit more muscular, but the bikini model, uh, division got super lean, super fast. And now they are legitimate athletes. I mean, they were legitimate athletes beforehand, but they are legitimately ripped to death. They die at 12, 16 weeks for these shows. It is not, I look good in bikini and get on stage, which is what, you know, the IWFBB likes to say, uh, or, you know, these other pro organizations like to say, oh, don't worry. They just, they're just hot girls that get on stage. No, they are not. They bust their ass. They are as good or better athletes, and they have put in as good or as much time as the pro bodybuilders, you know, the bodybuilders, or the figure models, or classic physique nowadays, the guys in the board shorts, you know, those things happen, and it, that's not surprising, because the women are just as good athletes as the guys, and they're putting in a lot of work now, but what I really want to get into is how healthy this stuff is for you, and how, what I've experienced watching both men and women in these shows go through. So on the male side of things, the guys diet like crazy. You know, 12, 16 weeks of dieting, uh, you get ripped. And what, going through, as a, as a man, going through it myself, uh, it's challenging when you're dieting because you're getting smaller. So you spend a lot of time, you know, getting leaner. It's nice when you get you take your shirt off and you're lean. That's cool. Like you're looking in the mirror and you're like, oh, that's awesome. Now, given when I did it, this is, we're talking pre uh we're in pre-social media, to be honest. I mean, we're talking 2005. So not a lot of people could see what you were doing. Nobody knew what you were doing. But it was pretty cool to watch yourself get progressively leaner. That's the challenge I found. And that's what I enjoyed about it. But what was interesting about that is, as you got smaller, you tended to feel crappy about it. Because you don't get positive reinforcement as a man in a gym if you're just skinny. And that's how you feel. You feel skinny, right? Because you say you've, you've lost 30 pounds getting ready for this show. You look smaller. You definitely look smaller. And that changes your idea of who you are, what you're doing. You know, I mean, guys, like I said, the testosterone, you want to be big and strong. So that's what guys go through pre-show. They get on stage. Listen, when you're down in, in, in posing trunks and you're lean, you know what? That you like. And you're like, yeah, look at me. I look jacked. Okay, that's great. As soon as the show is over, the guys start to gain weight back because you go back to eating more normal food. You're not dieting like crazy. You're not doing cardio like crazy, and you start to get bigger. What's interesting is as you start to grow, you're, you, you, know, you still have abs. You're still pretty damn lean, but you start to get bigger. And right away, you get positive reinforcement from everybody you know going, wow, you're getting bigger. And as a man, you say, yeah, I'm getting bigger right? because that's what we like. We like the idea of being big and strong. Right? We like that. So for men, the post-competition period of, you know, three to four months there where you're getting bigger, but you're still lean, that's a good feeling. You feel like, yeah, I am a bad man. I know that's how I felt. I was like, yep, I look great. I am lean and I am big and I am getting bigger and I feel good about that. For women, exactly the same thing happens. However... It's also different. So for a woman, while she gets down and gets ready for a show, she's getting consistent and constant positive thoughts and comments from other people saying, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. And you know what? As a man hearing that, that's one thing. You're like, mm, okay, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready for a show. I'm getting leaner, but you don't like necessarily hearing that you're getting smaller. <laughs> As a woman, we have been socially, or I shouldn't say we, women have been socially pushed to assume that they need to be smaller all the time. And that it's not healthy, it's not good, uh, but that is what happens. It's just the way it works. Women are told and pushed into, and you know, socially and media and whatever, smaller is better. Look at you, aren't you small? So women get positive reinforcement throughout the entire diet process. They just do because of the fact that they're getting consistently smaller. And every day they look, they're like, wow, I am so much smaller. When a guy hits stage, he doesn't want to stay there. He likes being lean, but he doesn't want to stay there. Women have gotten consistent and constant positive enforcement throughout this entire thing. 
and they get on stage and they look like a million dollars and then they want to hold it. And the reason they want to hold it is because socially we have said to them, reinforce that, look, you look great, you look like great, you look great, but it's not possible. What you are, pardon me, what you are on stage is not possible. It can't be done. So what happens is they start to gain weight just like the guys. And the same things are said in your head. A guy says, wow, I'm getting huge. And a woman says, wow, I'm getting huge. Now, is she huge? No, she's not huge. In fact, she looks super fit. But in her mind, and because of the fact she's gotten almost all this positive reinforcement on the way down, as she gains weight, the reinforcement, she's gaining weight and the reinforcement's going down. No one's saying, oh, wow, you look great, you're putting weight back on. Nobody says that. Not to women. They do to men, but they don't to women. So women instantaneously feel bad about themselves and they start beating themselves up. So it is exactly the same thing happens for each sex. It's just the men take it in one way because they want to be big and they're super positive about it. And the women take it another way because they feel like they should be small and they've been told their whole lives they should be small. And guess what? Now they feel terrible about themselves. And if you ask any woman that's done a bikini figure show, they don't feel good about themselves afterwards. In fact, quite often it's very hard on them psychologically and emotionally because of the fact that the, the positive reinforcement is gone. And suddenly there, there's just something, you know, well, you're, just getting, you're getting big now. Good for you. Well, that's not good. And that's not what makes them feel good. Now, is it healthy long term to do these shows in general? I would say no. I would say no. If, if you've learned how to eat better, that's great. And I'm a big fan of eating better. But these shows are not a sustainable thing. And like I said, for men, they lose weight. They feel shitty about themselves getting ready for the show. And then and they get bigger on the other end and they feel good. But bigger isn't always better. And then they think, oh, I have to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then, you know what? I don't care if you're 260 pounds of fat or you're 260 pounds of muscle. Either way, it's not healthy. It just isn't. Period. End of discussion. Your body's not built for that. So that you have more muscle on, your heart has to work harder, your cardiovascular system has to work harder. Not good for you. So it's not necessarily a healthy thing for men to do it physiologically. It also isn't good for their brains because they spend a lot of time, you know, beating themselves up on the way down, congratulating themselves on the way up. This is where steroids get involved uh, a lot. And what happens? You have a very negative uh, aspect in your mind of who you are. And for women, it's actually worse because socially we've done this to them. We've beaten women up socially. So then they think that they're fat when they're not. Or they think, oh my God, I don't look good because I don't have abs. Well, you know what? Most people don't walk around with abs. It's a lot of hard work and dedication to walk around and a lot of sacrifice to walk around with abs. So it's hard on both sexes, but I would say it is harder on women to do a bikini show. And that's why I don't, I don't even work with bikini athletes and figure athletes anymore on either. You know, I don't work with bodybuilders anymore and classic men's, you know, competition. Don't work with those. And I don't work with women anymore either because I just don't think it's healthy. It's not good for you. It doesn't do good things in your brain. It doesn't create, set you up for success long-term in your life. I love the sport. I think the sport is super cool. But I also realize and understand the sport is really not good for you. When you boil it right down, it is not good for you emotionally. It's not good for you psychologically. And I don't think it's good for you physically. So I would not tell somebody to go do a show. And if somebody said to me, I think I'm going to do a bikini, whatever show, uh, bodybuilding show, classic what physique, whatever you're doing, I would say my professional advice from 26 years of being a trainer and having competed, don't do it. I love the sport, but... Don't do it. It's not good for you. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.